Hey everyone, welcome back. Whenever we are dealing with the web pages, you might have come across different calendars icon where you have to select the date and it keeps on varying based on the website or application or the design that is been done for that particular icon, calendar icon. So in this video, we are going to see how we can handle those um, date icons or the calendars using WebDriver.io. So let's see an example of first the date icons that we can see. I've taken this website for the sample where you have a sample date picker, drop down date picker icon. So sample in the sense, nothing but you can just input here, whatever date you want to in input, right? So for example, 02, 23rd, 2013, and then you can just enter it. That's all. And it will handle it. Then another is drop down where you can, if you click here, you will have a drop down icons for the month and year. And then you have just the day selection. So for example, I can say March maybe 2019 and then you can select 10 or any date so based on that it it handles it and then the last one i see here example is i can trigger where you have a calendar icon you click on it and you have to keep on navigating through backward or forward and based on month or matching year you, you come across and then you select the date right so these are the different three calendar i'll take an example in your website you might have different one it it varies in the design but yes, we just need to be mindful how we are handling it manually and then let's see how we can handle those in, in automation. So let's just get into the code now. I'll copy the URL. And if I go to the code, let me drag it down here. And let's create a test called calendar.ts and let's create a page class as well. Calendar.page.ts class calendar page export default new calendar page this is our page class this is our test class here we write describe an it feature handle calendar it block it should handle simple date picker add a sync right and let's create one more test for the drop down should handle drop down date picker create one before each block where you can open app and we are already discussed and seen in the previous videos as well if you are following we'll just write a code here for opening the url so you know, browser.url just space sorry not this the url then let's maximize the window as well browser.maximize window yeah now once you maximize from here so first we have to click on this icon if you want to make sure you are in this icon then click here or, or just do the send keys and pass your text or the pass the date that you want to select first let's write a locator for this icon so we have an ID for this simple date picker. So let's write that. Now we have a page class because it's a tab. That's why I'm giving the name as a tab because you have to click on it. We have an ID. So I'm just writing a locator. ID is equal to this. Now let's write the locator for this drop down date picker as well. And for that we have ID here. So get. We can write a CSS locator or we can write XPath. This time I'm writing XPath. And if I have seen date picker there, then let's see here also date picker tab. So name will be consistent. It's good to give consistent format of the names. Then we are following. For example, simple date picker tab, drop down date picker tab. Date picker tab is common. Here it's a simple, here it's a drop down. Just the formatting or the naming conventions trying to follow. So we have a, two different tabs. We need to perform a uh, you know, click based on that. So what I'll do, I'll make this as private locator and this also private and then let's create a default function click on await this dot dot click this gets automatically added so i'm going to remove this one and even the bracket yes and let's copy this and create one more for did not simple one click on drop down date picker drop down date picker locator will be this 
right? So this will click on the simple one icon, this particular tab, and then another function will click on the drop down date picker tab, right? So this is to now let's call this in our test class because we need to first perform click on this. So await, then we have to write import the ph class. So you want to import, you can import manually, or if you just type calendar a little bit, you get auto suggestion here, right? Just click on it dot which one you want to select this function that's all and the same for calendar page dot so this function is for clicking on the simple one this is for drop so now clicking on this icon is done then we have to perform an input on this so let's write the locator for this as well locator for this is a date picker it's an id so let's write here also mm. private get date picker input return and let's write a css locator for this we're going to use this for later purpose as well so let's not make it private and let's use this so now what we have to do here in this function await calendar page dot date picker dot set value you have to set value what value you want to set now what value we have to pass we just need to see the valid format that it expects for example if we just click here and if you want to know what the format it is ex expecting it is a month for example january 19 so it is month date and year it is expecting right so let's pass in the same format so you have to make sure this is a month this is a year and this is a sorry this is a month this is a date and this is a year this is what you need to form you know pass it on in this format right and let's for now skip this because we are not going to run this first we'll see the first one and then the second one dot skip now let's once we type and once we type it right you should be able to see the date here and just give a browser dot pause just to see whether we are able to input the date or not and for two seconds now let's try to run this so i'm going to test class i'm going a bit faster because the process of writing the test is very much similar we have already seen in the previous videos only thing even the, the first one is like you know just performing a set value so it's a very simple one that's why i'm a little fast but whenever i need to slow down for other options that i need to something new that i have to explain i will slow it down but let's write uh, calendar.ts and try to run this test npm run wdio let's see how it behaves whether it's working or not so it's just trying to open the url maximizing the window and something is not working because it's not entering the date here so let's see now it has failed what it says there's an error whenever you have error you always need to understand what exactly or what is the error it says so let me just drag it up here date picker because element wasn't found that means it, it is failing on the date picker input right it is saying not found and what line it failed here if you and the last line right you will see in test spec calendar.ts line number 12 so if you go to line number 12 here this is what line number 12 or you can press command or control in your keyboard and then click on this error line it will take you exactly on this line for example currently i'm in this file but let's click here with pressing command or control in your keyboard and it will take you to the exact line of error this is where it is failing right so that's what it is showing now what we have to do we have to understand that it is not able to find this locator though the locator are correct because let's just cross check whether this locator is right or wrong so if i search with this this locator is correct because it is finding the correct input right it is there so why it is failing so whenever you have such scenarios you need to understand your locator is correct uh, you handle the weight properly then you need to see in the web page do you have any frame because if you have a frame first you need to handle the frame and then you have to switch uh, in, in the text box so if you scroll up a bit here there is something called iframe right click on here in the area you will see something called view frame source reload frame whenever it you have option that means there is a frame in this particular area and you need to first switch into this frame and then after that you have to perform so whichever the element is under any frame you cannot handle that directly it is like isolated area in the web page so first 
get into that frame and then handle it now how you can handle the frame so first you can write a locator for this frame let's see if you have any locator for this particular frame or not now we can write a locator we can handle by index as well let's check in the webdriver io website frame see we have switched to frame switch to parent frame right so if you click here this is in the first page it has come json wire protocol frame and it says that json wire protocol is deprecated by webdriver io protocol so this is json wire protocol is deprecated you have to search for webdriver io protocol and then you have a frame handling here switch to frame right side you can see all the menu options whatever you have in the main you can see all those so it's switch to frame how you can switch to frame browser dot switch to frame and it need to give id now how you can give id one of the three possible types it can be null or number representing the index of a window or an element object received using find element so you can pass null you can pass the number of or the index like 0 1 or you can pass the element object that means object locator which is find by using find element so you can pass either of these three so now what you can do is you have to first switch to a frame so before performing this action you have to first switch to frame now we need to write the locator for the frame so let's handle that we can handle by index but that is the last option that we can consider so let's try to handle using the locator now i see here iframe is there we have a class we can use the partial text of data source here instead of writing the complete i can take this much part of this data src and then write so iframe contains as it is data src and then you can paste and yes it is finding the so let's write this get iframe simple date so for the simple date you have an iframe and which is this locator so first we have to switch to this so let's now here before performing any action inside the frame first we have to say await browser dot switch to frame inside that await and then make sure you have to add await then you have to say calendar page dot sim iframe simple date yes this is how you have to write if you want to switch to frame now make sure you add a weight here if you don't uh, add a weight before this locator you are going to you know get a failure so make sure you add a weight here as well because it does not expect the promised locator but the object id based on your uh, locator that you have so right you have to add a weight here and then the locator icon that whatever you have written the locator so that's how you can switch to frame now once you switch to frame your control of the command will be always inside the frame so once you perform your action whenever you are dealing with the frame so suppose you perform the action here and you are done with this area you have to come out of it then you have to tell specifically to the code that you come out of this frame and come out to the parent one that means that the basic all the web page then only you will be able to perform click on outside anywhere else because currently your locators or your focus of area will be on this particular frame if you hover your frame here this is the zone of this frame so you need to come out of it so how we can come out uh, wait browser dot switch to parent frame there's another function called parent frame this will help you to come out of the frame that you have switched so first click on this icon switch to that particular frame that means this isolated area perform action come out of the frame and that's what i have written here so let's try to run this and see whether it's working fine or not this time yeah did you see it has selected 1 9 2023 exactly the value that i have given now let's remove this browser to pause that because that was for demo so we are able to handle this normal input type of date picker